Hey everyone, it's Sand. So if the video thumbnail, title, or the b-roll playing in the background you're looking at here didn't give it away, I'm going to be talking about Gundam Evolution. Some of you may know I was quite into this at launch, and though I had planned to stream a lot of the gameplay between myself and some friends of mine, our extreme sailor mouths kinda killed that idea in its infancy. Anyhow, Gundam Evolution. Some content creators, including myself, and a select few others, got access to try an early build of the game featuring the newly announced Heavy Arms. Now, if you're just here for a single opinion, you know, just straight out, it's amazingly fun. If you're watching the B-roll, you can see me, you know, just demolishing things. A really nice, like, kill reel that I got during the one round I got to play as it. Even when I was Sazabi, my main character in Evolution, I had issues dealing with this thing. It has a small profile, it has an extremely high damage output, and its mobility is surprisingly good. Now that this very simple overview and opinion's been spitballed out, let's get into some details I think are kind of important. Let's talk primary fire for this sucker. Doing some testing in practice mode shows that not only does the heavy arms fire faster than the gun tank, but each bullet is doing about 70% more damage. You have a singular fire mode, and a dual fire mode when you scope in. Bringing your second gun to bear impacts your mobility, but also doubles your fire rate. Shocking, I know. It should be noted that after a few moments of firing, your aiming reticle will have expanded quite a bit, and unless you're really close to your target, your accuracy is going to be horrid. And that's where the second gun comes in. It alleviates the issue significantly, but distance is still an issue. The Heavy Arms comes with two skills in its kit, the first being some of the well-known missiles. It's straightforward. You fire a bunch of missiles in a small cluster forwards, and on impact, they explode, and leave ticking damage on the target for a short time. But if they miss, there's very little splash AoE, and the burning effect doesn't really last very long, if at all, so you gotta hit your target effectively. Second, and much more interesting, is a very mobility-friendly jump, allowing you to scale walls, engage, disengage, and distract. It's a powerful and versatile tool when used in the right place. It moves you a fixed distance up and forwards from when you activated the ability, but you retain basic camera controls as you're flying through the air. This lets you face enemies that may now be below you to prepare follow-up, whether missiles, guns, whichever. Since you're also able to hover right out of the animation, there's a good amount of potential utility in this. You can also use your G maneuver directly after the jump finishes, while hovering down. Let's talk about that. Everybody loves DACA, it's universal, and if you say you don't, you're lying. Stop it. Heavy Arms' iconic spray and pray, the full open hatch, is its G maneuver, and all I can say about it is wow. In a decent sized conal area in front of the Heavy Arms, every hostile in line of sight takes severe damage. During testing, we found a sweet spot for multiple enemies, but frankly, which is overall, it's got great coverage, and against single opponents, there's a snowball chance in hell of it surviving. Now, I'm going to have the live footage I captured as I played my round as the heavy arms, so you can get a better idea of how it works overall, and so you can kind of contextualize that b-roll kill reel I had playing in the background. Keep in mind, I'm not a pro in this game, and any fashion to start with, and this is also a casual, friendly match. Heavy arms, so I think it's... Oh wait, yeah, is, it, like... is it my turn on heavy arms? Hello. Suki, you're up next, I think. Good luck, sir. Let's get it. That was a good match. Was yeah. That's good. Super yeah. close. Dude, on heavy arms, Suki's just your worst nightmare. Oh. <laughs> like, it, it's so hard. <laughs> no, like I can see you running at me, and I just feel like I'm, I'm not. I'm not Barbara Toast this time. I want to try and have beer because uh, I haven't tried it yet. Oh. I love my little heavy arms charm. I have a good play. I do like how the aim is like really uh, <laughs> like accurate with them versus a uh, gun tank. I feel like I could have used the jump. How? How do you get more accurate than auto? Don't worry about these pretty. Kind of weird, but I know what you mean. 
Oh, I almost got him. Dude, you let go. <laughs> you were stuck in that message. You should have got the wall. <laughs> yeah. Now for the counter attack. I forgot I changed my buttons on my stick. Ugh. I'm not playing Barbato, so I'm like. I'm gonna sit in this corner and just be a tank. Watch. Yeah. I got you. Buddy. Don't do it, don't. 1200 HP goes pretty quick. I don't have you that time. No, not that time. I appreciate the revive I did get. I'm not mad about the one I didn't. Oh, this deletes, bro. Jesus. <laughs> it's six streak first time in the Hyperion. Okay, let's run that again. Zigzag is definitely when you lock down. Oh, I know where exactly where to go with this. Okay. Hey, if y'all get on B, I got a good spot. <laughs> I got a really good spot. You see me? Post it up. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, this is about to be deadly, son. We got, we got us a. Oh, they found me. They found me. Damn. Ah. Oh. Get to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Oh no, he got away. Get him. <laughs> Come on. Well done. They found me. They found my hidey hole. Oh. Got it. Huge, Adam. All right, we all here together. Let's take it. Oh, he's almost dead up there. He's almost dead. Hit him one time. <laughs> They're talking about you. Yeah, you guys. Top right, top right. <laughs> it's alright, I'll get you. Um, oh, I didn't think about jumping in that. <gasps> it's cool, Nick. <laughs> I just, oh my god, dude. So I can't get freezes yeah. and then I'm dead. I really appreciate how, like, great <laughs> or your barrel. Who's the high power? Oh, bro, nice. I was set up so nice, too. Oh, I tried to get to you. Kill Nick. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Dennis is very happy right now. <laughs> No, ow, I ran ow, into ow, that. Ow, ow, ow. I was trying to get to the health pack. Yeah, you tackled me to death. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Was that the rockets? Nah. Nope, that was just good old chain guns, my guy. It was like dummy quick. It was like boom. He ran to the corner with low health. He was definitely in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Do it, Sam. The technique we practice. It's another Ah, oh, I was healing! Ah. Hey guys, go on this side. I haven't even seen the ultimate yet. Oh, they get oh it. it's really good. Is it just like a stair? Like... It's the big barrage. Very it's wide a, area. It's, it's a conal DACA. Full yeah. open. Full open hatch. 
Ride. <laughs> that was a really good shield. That was a really good shield. You're playing that. Uh, this is our looks like our last chance, guys. Let's wait till everybody spawns back before this we go is, in. This is interesting. Oh wow, you're so tiny, but you definitely can't be afforded to be ignored. Like, you're allowed to walk oh through their Oh my god, I threw, I thought I had my ult, and it wasn't quite up yet. I get the barrage off at the wall. Come on, Zant, let me see the MVP. <laughs> so That's we fun. can repost it online. No. No, that Hyperion was just... Oof. Do recovers, baby. And with that, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thanks for watching, tuning in, all that fun stuff, guys. As always, if you could like the video, leave a comment, perhaps. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't. And now with the shilling over, I just got to say, playing the heavy arms, all that DACA, a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it actually being added into evolution. Anyways, peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.